The Harrington Seed Destructor, also known as the HSD, is a unique harvest weed seed control tool invented by grain grower Ray Harrington. The HSD is designed to destroy weed seeds as they exit the harvester in the chaff fraction. Ray and Tim Harrington crop 1800 hectares in Darkin in Western Australia and they use a tow behind HSD to manage their weed seed banks. Um, so basically the, the HSD project for me was 15, 15 16 years old. Um, I sold my sheep, I had 12,500 sheep the day I sold them. Um, the, I was sick of the wool industry, uh, decided to go total crop and I knew from the experience in West Australia that if I didn't do something with the chaff fraction at harvest as, a, as an adjunct to the chemical program that I was going to run into resistance problems. I decided the two things I wasn't going to do, one was burn and the second thing is I wanted to return all the residue to the paddock. They were the two things that were paramount in my, in my mind. So I looked around, a couple of years it took me and I stumbled on what's called a cage mill. It's mining technology, 98 years old, and I watched it working in the coal mining industry. There's a coal mining town just down the road. I went and watched it work. As soon as I saw this coal cascading down and into this mill and coming out, I looked at it and I said, this is it. So the cage mill became what I was going to do. Now the cage mill, it's three rows of bars, each row inside each other, and they rotate in opposite directions. Now this outside row of bars is doing 500 k's an hour. It's not a close grind machine, it's a whack machine. I work with Agmaster, the no-till people. We built a cage mill, driven by the tractor. It's a big unit, as you can see. I went up the wheat belt and got chaff and put through it planted it in my wife's garden after I'd processed it and I got no results out of it whatsoever. I had a, a chance crossing of paths with Dr Stephen Powles at a reunion of the original no-till committee. That day I had a speaking role of where I'd come from, which was a conventional farmer, to a no-till farmer, to where I was going and where I was going was on the top of my whiteboard at home, seed set control. You've got to know the end game when you build something. The end game is seed set control. I spoke about this machine and um, Dr Powell's rang me next day and he said, have you got some product you put through the mill? And I said, yes. I took it up to the university and Steve Powell's and Michael Walsh and I spoke and I guess some defining moment is when Steve Powell said, I go with my gut, we're going to go with this. I was given $20,000 to take that original mill, there it is there, and get it onto the back of the header. And you wouldn't have seen the gentleman today floating around, Ron Knapp. He, he's made a couple of aeroplanes, so he's a reasonable mechanic because he was walking around there today. He helped me build the first red HSD, which enabled us to get it on the back of the header, get it back into the paddock, and then for Wari as it was then to do some more field trials. Basically then, Wari did trials, and there you see the results. Annual ryegrass, 95, radish, 92, wild oats, 99, and brown grass, 98. So we did those trials at the Wongan Hills Research Station. It's no longer my HSD. This belongs to the farmers of Australia who put the money in. And Steve sat down and put an application in to GRDC. And this thing would never have got where it's got without GRDC funding, with their vision, uh, I know it wasn't easy for them. Um, I know a fair bit of rules were broken, but uh, hell, the weeds are calling the shots. We've got to do something. So from there, we go to commercialisation. We go nationally around Australia for expressions of interest, and we end up with one firm in Mount Gambia, De Bruin Engineering, becoming the partner in the project to commercialise. If we compare the harvest weed seed control options for differing scale, we can see by looking at the graph where the purple bar represents the Harrington seed destructor. As we get to a greater area, say perhaps three or 4,000 hectares of harvest, it is very comparable in cost to windrow burning. You can find more information on the WeedSmart website.